This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to optimize Premiere's audio meters for video editing. Here's an audio clip, and the very first thing that I want to do is look over here at the audio meters. If they're too small, grab this vertical line and drag them wider so you can see what's going on. Then control click inside the meters and it opens up a configuration panel. First, because I think it makes them look better, show the color gradient. Second, and again I'm control clicking again, show valleys if you want. This is not required. It shows the softer passage of your audio. It'll be a blue line. I'll turn it on just to be able to brag about it. I really don't care about the full range of audio. I really don't care how soft it gets. I do if I'm doing classical music, but not if I'm doing drama. Instead, I really only care about the top 24 dB, so I'm going to set this to just go to the top 24, the loudest portion of the audio. And I want to see dynamic peaks because I want the peak hold indicators to appear and disappear as opposed to stay put. So this is how I configure my meters. Dynamic peaks, 24 dB range, show color gradient. Truthfully, most of the time I have valleys off, but I'm going to turn them on so you can see what this looks like. And now we're going to play the clip. But he's so soft, this is recorded so soft, it's not even getting up to 24 dB. Just to prove that point, let me go to 48 and play it. And now we see there he is down around 30, 20, it's just really, really soft. And notice this yellow bar here and a blue bar. The yellow bar is the loudest our audio has been for the last second. And the blue bar is the softest our audio has been also for the same second. This is a peak hold and the blue is the valleys. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing in Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 283. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours, on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.